Hey Luke here with CaptainCarp.com and we are renewing the 300 pound catfish challenge. Welcome to part four of the 300 pound catfish challenge where I try to catch 100 pounds of flathead catfish, 100 pounds of channel catfish, and 100 pounds of blue catfish. Now, if you haven't seen parts one, two, and three, click this link right here or in the video description to see all four parts together. Well, guys, a lot of time has passed since I started the 300 pound catfish challenge, and it has been a long, cold winter, but spring is here. It's the end of March, and it is warm and sunny and beautiful. We got a lot of warm rain earlier this week, which really popped up the water temperature to the low 50s and today is supposed to be like low 70s so it is a gorgeous sunny day and i've got the whole crew with me i've got my boy nathan say hi nathan hi. got my beautiful wife hi we've got jacob here who just turned three months old this is his first fishing trip ever and then of course t-man tommy say hi to the camera buddy hi mr t-man <laughs> So at any rate, we're gonna see if we can't catch a bunch of big blue catfish and finish off this 300 pound catfish challenge. There's plenty of shad, but they all seem to be right around 20 feet. Everywhere we go, the shad are hovering around 20 feet. Uh, but the water temperature's looking pretty good, 54 degrees. We've got a lot of warm rain recently, and that really helps jack up the water temperature. So, since we're over 50, I think there's a good chance we might find some flatheads out and about. What? There's, there's four fish. Hey Jacob, you doing good? Oh yeah, yeah, this. Woo, good job, Nate. Yay, I had to roll that. That's a good load of fish. That's all we need right there. Hey, now all the shad we've seen so far have been flat on the bottom at about 20 to 25 feet. See this school, how it's off the bottom? That's usually a sign that something's eating on them. Catfish will come along and they'll go up to a get away from predators, so good sign. So there we go, got a little sliding lead, a bead, a swivel, 18 inches a liter, 10 odd octopus hook, and a live shad. If there's any flatheads around, or big blue catfish, or channel catfish, still love that. in bud reel them in yeah see that guys the bait went in on itself and covered the hook point great hit yeah. then the fish let it go because he wasn't hooked there we go getting a little barge bite action going come on bass boat trigger some bite here hey guys who wants this fish go for it reel him in heavy. yeah he is heavy he's that fish is putting up a decent fight yeah, that one's putting up a legit fight there, Nathan. Yeah! That's a, that's a decent fish. Yeah. Need help? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is a nice fish. Okay, get that in there, buddy. Yeah! Okay, here. You hold the rod. I'll net him. Oh, get in there. I'll pull him up. Okay. There we go. Hey, Nate. You wanna get a picture with him? Yeah. Nathan, good job, buddy. That's your new biggest flathead. Yeah. Yeah, nice fish. All right, let's weigh him. 22 pounds, Nathan. We're gonna let him go. Nathan, we're letting him go. Say bye-bye. 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 
Nice fish. No. High five, Nathan. Good job. I want to have a fist. All right, let's get you one. Come here. Start reeling this one right here. It's kind of hard for me to reel. Oh, good, good. That means it's a big one. You got the net, Nathan? Yeah. Lion's channel cat. Yeah. Okay, now, help. Nathan, you go for it. Net him, Nathan. Yeah. Okay, you got it? Okay, tell me, direct him over to the net. Put him in the net. Okay. Oh, he got away! He got away! Oh! He popped off right at the right at the net. Let's check out my new catfish rod and reel combo. This is the Muddy River Catfishing Flathead Rod. It's got a handle like no other fishing rod on the market right now. It kind of feels like a tennis racket handle. Tommy, go for it. Go for it. It's a big one. Go for it. Wow, look at that. That's a nice fish. Try to get the rod into the water and break it. This is way <laughs> Keep falling. Keep falling, Tom. Yeah. Woo, it's a blue catfish. Hurry up. Here, hold on to him. Uh, uh. Reel him up. Oh, whoa, whoa. Woo! Woo! Hey, Nathan! Nathan, there's another fish! That's a Nathan, go get that fish! It's so heavy, you oh. Oh. That is a big blue catfish, buddy! I can't hold oh, it. man! Let look me at go. that! Look I at think that that's side. so heavy, it here, could break my arm here. off! Here, we're gonna put him in the, the wing sling here. Yeah. 28 pounds, 28 pounds of blue catfish. Nathan's got him. Your brother needs your help. Oh, yeah, that's it. Don't don't reel him anymore, Nathan. Go get him. Oh, yeah, that's another. Is that a blue catfish? That's another blue. Yeah. Two blues back to back. He's covered all in mud too. He's just woke up. Look at that, another blue catfish. That's your first blue catfish. Yeah. Good job, buddy. I can't Here, shall we put him back? In. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I got my weighing sling hanging over the boat here. Gonna let that blue catfish breathe and relax for a little bit. He had a tough fight. Once he's had a little time in the water, we'll pull him out and take pictures. Oh, I haven't even had a chance to rebate my lines yet. Go get him, man. Go get him. That's heavy, buddy. A spunky guy. Oh, look at that. Another, yeah. another beautiful channel cat. Whoa, what's that? Good job, bud. Not a bad channel catfish. It's a nice channel catfish. You want to put him back? Now put him overboard, buddy. Yeah! Good job! High fives, bud! Good I job. Well, this has been fast and furious, guys. Uh, we've been out for about an hour, and we had a 22-pound flathead, 28-pound blue catfish, a small blue catfish, uh, a channel catfish which we landed, a channel catfish we lost, and another fish on it was pretty decent that got away. So that's a lot of action in an hour. So not too bad. You gotta love springtime. All right, Tom, shall we go get pictures with your catfish? Yes, where is it? Yeah, he's still in the bag. He's just chilling down there. Oh. What is a muscular fish? Whew, put your arms out. Uh, I can't hold it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you think, buddy? Is that a fun? Was this a fun fish? Yes. Oh, man, he's killing my arm. Let's put him back. Yeah, kind of big. Oh. All right, Tom, here he goes. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. oh, buddy, high five. Good stuff. Oh, smile. Thanks, baby. Oh, we're gonna drink and focus on drinking. Okay. Nice. Oh, he's moving. He's making tracks. That's not an 8-10 pound channel catfish. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, look at this. Yeah, we got four balls. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Let's see how big your fist is. Oh my gosh, that's humongous. Yeah. Forty-five. That's my new PB for blue catfish in this water. The biggest blue catfish I'd ever caught out of here previously was 43. What a beautiful fish. What a beauty. 45 pounds of blue catfish awesomeness. It's pretty, uh, it's a great fish for this body of water. Oh. Woo! Yeah, he chewed up my knuckles. I really need to find where my right glove was. <laughs> you and Daddy, you can have... Oh, another nice fish. Nathan. Another nice... Another nice blue catfish. Another nice blue catfish. Oh yeah, right there in the corner, right where we need it. 29. 29 pounds. Just a bit heavier than Tommy's. Right. It's that lovely time of year when the blues are out and playing. Man, it's rare to catch a blue catfish in this body of water, let alone catch four of them in one day. This is amazing. Uh, we're in 130 something pounds of fish right now. So not bad for about an hour and a half. How's little Jacob doing? <laughs> yeah. All this fishing's tuckering him out. Yeah. I don't know why that felt so weird. I lassoed him. Look at that. That guy's so tied up he can't move, move a fin. Look at that. He just hook, got hooked and then spun and spun and spun. And he, he was bounded up so tight he couldn't swim. You know. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to weigh him. We'll, 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 we'll call him three pounds. Let's call him three pounds. I'm already done with my channel catfish part of the challenge anyways, but... I keep forgetting to weigh the channel cats. Now listen, I've got my boys here with me and we've just had an incredible day of fishing. But just remember, taking kids fishing is not about the size of the fish you catch. Let me give you a case in point here. Tommy, are you bored? Yes, I want to go, I want to go swimming. I guarantee Tommy's had more fun reeling in trout and bluegill than he did this uh, 100 pounds of blue catfish. Size of the fish doesn't matter. Spanking Davis, butt crack. Yes, it's spanking his eyeballs. Don't, don't, don't hit him in the eyes with the wood. Well guys, I'm really glad I did this. I know a lot of you have been asking when I was gonna finish up the 300 pound catfish challenge. And I really was just waiting until the water temperature warmed up a little bit. And uh, finally, we've got a decent day and we were able to get out here and give it a go. And it's just been awesome. That's the way it is on these big bodies of water, is each of the fish have their own little migratory patterns with the seasons, and just knowing those patterns and being in the right places at the right time of year. Say bye-bye. Bye -bye. You're the lucky one. You wanna, you wanna let one go, Nathan? Yeah. Okay, here you go, come here. There you go. I've been using a mix of cut and live shad, and both have been working fabulously. I caught the channel catfish, uh, one of them on live bait, two uh, of them on cut bait, the flathead was on cut bait, half the blues were on live, half the blues were on cut. I mean, it's all just working great, which is pretty typical this time of year. The catfish and the flatheads and channels are hungry and they're, they're gonna hit anything. All right, guys, let me give you my opinion on the Muddy River flathead rod. Now, this is a medium heavy action rod, but it is a beefy medium heavy action rod. Um, it's much more heavy duty than the Whisker Seeker rods. 
Um, so if you're fishing in a lot of current and need to throw heavy leads, I think this could handle 10 to 12 ounces, no problem. It recommends up to eight, but I think that's a conservative recommendation. It's a flathead rod, that's what it's marketed as, but I could very easily see this being used as a big river blue catfish rod. I think this rod is most comparable to the big cat fever medium heavy rods. It's about the same amount of weight, same sort of backbone, feels very similar in its play, but the handle's very different. So uh, if you've ever picked up or used the, the big cat fever medium heavy rods, this, this is pretty similar. Definitely check it out. Um, I think Chris, uh, if I remember correctly, he's selling these for about 70 something dollars. So a little bit cheaper than the a, uh, Big Cat Fever rods, about 10 bucks cheaper, and uh, similar in price to the Whisker Seekers and some of the other rods. Um, definitely has similar parts and components to other rods in, in that price range. You know, metal reel seeds, heavy duty eyelets. Definitely check it out, I'll put a link in the description. This is the rod and reel I use in most of my videos and I've done several reviews on it. So if you wanna check that rod out, definitely put a, a link in the description for you guys. Um, I like the Okuma Trios because it's the same color pattern as my Whisker Seekers. It matches them and uh, it's a very light reel, but they're not particularly durable. I've had to replace six of them uh, after about two years of heavy use. So uh, they, they do suffer a little bit from wear and tear. This Abu Garcia C4 6600, it's been okay. Um, but man, it suffered from a lot of backlashes and it's a little bit small for this rod. I think I would rather go with like um, a catfish special or a larger Ming Yang reel, like the uh, uh, Ming Yang, I think it's the 30. But it works, it's not bad. And it's green, which kind of matches. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video series because it was really fun to shoot and we had a ball making it. If you'd like to see more videos like this from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking how my wife's been doing and I'm proud to say that she she's slowly getting better. Still, still recovering, but uh, we've been very blessed. At any rate, thanks for watching and check out our other YouTube channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, where I post all my non-fishing outdoor videos and vlogs. I'll put a link in the description. Hey Jacob, did you have a good day? Did you enjoy your fishing trip?